What is up guys, Smosh Beans here and welcome to a new video where today, yes that's right, we're going to be doing a Q&A as something has happened. You may have heard through social media, but yes, Lizzie and I are engaged to be married, I proposed, I know. It feels weird to say still. We announced it on Thursday, which was the 9th of November. So I put some pictures now on the screen which you can see. Those are the pictures that we chose to post to announce it. That's not actually the day I propose though, because I've got a lot of questions from you guys asking about things like that. Now, one of the main questions was, where did you propose, Joel? Well, we went on a little walk to the Peak District, which is in the north of England, well, kind of north, and I pretended, basically, that we were looking for a good walk for taking Mary on in the future, and we were just scouting out the location, when in fact, that was not my, my plan at all. It was in the afternoon, we actually left it quite late, like, I was panicking because I thought the sun was going to go down, and I proposed, and Lizzie wouldn't be able to see me, so I'm glad that I got it in time before the sun actually went down. We announced it on Thursday, but that was actually on the Monday that I proposed, so we kept it a secret for a few days from you guys. We told all our family and friends and stuff first, of course, as I feel like you should tell your family and friends in person or like over the phone sort of thing, rather than them finding out like online through a tweet or like a Facebook status sort of thing. So yeah, we did that first, of course, and we went and told my parents straight away, which was kind of exciting but also scary because I don't know how they're going to react, but they're very pleased. Everyone in our family is really pleased, which is awesome. So that's just to answer the, the, the big where did you propose question that I saw a lot of times. Another one was how did you propose? Well, we were just walking along basically and I was like in my head like, just do it, Joel. Just do it. Just just do it. Like, you need to do this. Because, like, I was just psyching myself up, basically. Because it's quite scary. Although I was pretty certain that he was going to say yes, I was still really scared because I was, I'm was i just a nervous wreck. And finally, I was like, okay, we're stopped. This is a good moment. Pulled out the ring and got down on one knee, of course, and asked her to marry me. And it was very emotional for me. <laughs> no, Lizzie as well. Uh, but yeah, I, I teared up a little bit. It was quite, it was nice. Which leads me on to the question from 8 Dylan, who says, how nervous were you about the proposal? I was pretty nervous. I, I don't know why. Like, I, I was pretty certain she was going to say yes, but it's just, I don't know, you just, it's such a big thing really, isn't it? So I just built up and like in my head, I was like, what if she does say no? And that was really like, oh, like 1% chance. But I was like, what if, what if, what if? And I, but I was like, nope, I'm just going to do it. I was like shaking a little but I did it. Now a slightly different question from Abby Cranker who says, are you planning on getting any more pets in the future? And the answer to this is, I do not know. I kind of want another cat and another dog and then maybe another cat and then maybe another dog. Mainly just so Buddy can have a friend and Mary can have a friend as they are not the best of friends together. But that is a lot of work. Mary is starting to get to the stage where she's not completely mad and crazy and horrible to wake up to in the morning as she's just barking. Uh, so maybe not another puppy for now, but in the future, perhaps. Nitzan asks, where is your dream destination for the wedding? Now honestly, I just want to have it in the United Kingdom with family, friends, I want loads of people to be there. I feel like it'd be more fun having it back home where everyone can attend rather than abroad where only a few people can attend as it's a day of celebration and I want to celebrate it with my friends and family. Jizzy Fangirl asked, how did Lizzie react when you proposed to her? Honestly, I think she was a bit surprised. We've been talking about it a lot and actually this is quite funny. The night before, we were joking about me proposing to her and she said, why don't you just propose to me right now? while we were watching TV, I said, I'm not going to propose to you right now, this is not the best setting really. And she's like, well where are you going to propose then? Maybe the Peak District? Like, because we knew that we were going on this walk tomorrow. And I was like, yeah! <laughs> I, and I did, I did. She was not expecting it, it was very weird that she suggested that, but that's what happened, so yeah. That girl Sky asks, are you going to have a large wedding or a small wedding? I think we're probably going to have quite a reasonable sized wedding. I have like a huge family and Lizzie has a big family as well so if we want to invite all of them we're going to have to have a reasonable sized wedding and we want all our friends to come as well so yeah probably a re like a reasonably big sized wedding. Frazzle Me asks, what is your favourite social media? In brackets, Twitter, Snapchat or Instagram basically. Um, I'm going to have to say Instagram. I always like to look through people's stories because I feel like it's a really cool way of getting like small bits of content from people. But also Twitter. I really like Twitter just because 
I like reading memes and there's a lot of like funny viral tweets on there. Alexis Hill asked, do you have any clips of the engagement itself? Now, this was a big thing for me. I didn't want to film it, mainly because it'd be embarrassing for me. Uh, no, but really, mainly because I feel like some things in your life you've got to keep private and I kind of wanted to keep that moment just between me and Lizzie as that's what it was about. I wanted it to be as genuine as possible and I feel like if there's a camera there people just don't act the same around a camera. Also I'd have had to have hidden a camera and I don't know how I'd have done that. But yeah I just thought I'd just keep it between us. If you share everything then it's like what have you got between each other? I don't know it's weird yeah but I just I really wanted to keep that like just a moment between me and Lizzie so we'd love and know the moment and also because I cried a little and you guys would have to see that and I don't want to see that you see that because I'm a big manly strong man. Lizzie's Craft said, how do you pick out a ring for Lizzie? Well, funnily enough, I just asked Lizzie's help because I thought I don't want to mess this up. I don't want to get her a ring she doesn't like and she is very picky. Like, if you look at all the, you know, this typical ring stores and like the typical engagement rings, they're all very similar and Lizzie hated all of those and she wanted something a bit different which is why I got her this ring because it is quite different. It's not actually a diamond, it's an aquamarine stone and yeah, I just asked her opinion and she gave me some suggestions of what she liked and I picked one of the rings that she suggested and that's how I chose the ring. And it's a really nice ring I think. It's like quite different to the usual engagement ring and yeah that's how I picked it. I got Lizzie to help me by telling me what to buy. <laughs> Kevin Weir said did Lizzie immediately say yes? Yeah she didn't hesitate really. She was a bit shocked and taken back at first but then she said yes instantly so Success! I'm gonna do some quick fire questions now because I've just been rambling on for too long. So, do you know the Muffin Man? Yes, I do. What would you do if Lizzie say no? Cry more than when she said yes and run away and hide in a hole forever. Do you believe in aliens? Yes, kind of. I believe there is life other than on Earth. Do a One Life live stream? Not really a question, but I will be live streaming tomorrow, Sunday night. Be there. Boop. When are you getting married? Not till 2019. It takes a long time to plan these weddings. Snapchat or Instagram. I already said it earlier, but Instagram. I don't like Snapchat. I only use Snapchat to talk to friends sometimes. Are you excited for Christmas? Why, yes I am. I am looking forward to spending the first Christmas as an engaged couple and first Christmas with Mary and Buddy but mainly Mary because we spent Christmases with Buddy before and yeah. Apples or bananas? 100% apples. I do not like bananas. Plus if you eat like 500 bananas that will kill you. Try eating 500 apples you'll just feel very bloated. Do you have any Christmas traditions with Lizzie? Not yet. We've only really spent one Christmas together so let's find out if we continue on anything we did last year this year. How tall are you? About five foot eight. Not very tall. So that's it for all the questions in general. I just want to say thank you guys for all the love that you have shown me and Lizzie on social media and stuff about us getting engaged. It really does like warm your heart to see so many people really care and like it's really really nice. So thank you so much for all of that and all your congratulations. It's really awesome to have your guys support and please stop with the proposed to Lizzie comments now because I have, I have. So you can stop with the comments, all right? My, my comments on my videos are gonna just like half because no one's commenting proposed to Lizzie anymore. So yeah, there we go. But thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoy this video and go check out the pictures and stuff on Instagram and Twitter. I'll post them on the screen now of the pictures we took, which is actually at the same lake where I did propose to Lizzie. We just got our friend Joe to come and take some photos of us to make it look nice and stuff. So we'd have some nice photos to post as we never take nice photos of ourselves. So yeah, thank you for watching this video guys. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you did enjoy it. And I hope this answered a few questions for you guys as I know a lot of people were spamming with where and when and how and who. Well obviously who, it was Lizzie. Uh, that about the proposal. But yes, that is going to be it for now. Probably the only video I'm going to make about this. So thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you over time. Goodbye. Also, if you have any questions, come ask me tomorrow on my live stream. I will try and answer them then. Bye-bye.